In this video, I'm going to be sharing a step-by-step -step process on how you can update your personal details on your e-visa. If you created your e-visa with your BRP, you need to update your details. I'm talking about your passport details right now before you travel. It's so important you do that before you travel so that you don't have any problems in the border. Now, watch me as I update my e-visa with my passport details now this is the email i received view your e-visa so i click on that link there you can view your e-visa now it says view and prove your immigration status get a share code so we'll just have to scroll down because i'm looking for the place that says start now so i have to click on start now and the first question it says what identity document did you use when you created your account i used my brp so i'm going to click on brp and click on continue the next thing is what is your biometric residence card or permit number so i'm going to provide my permit number and click on continue so i can move to the next page now the next page asks what is your date of birth so i provide my date of birth and click on continue on the next page it says how do you want to receive a security code so i chose text message click on continue to the next page it says check your phone you have sent a six digit security code so i put in the security code here and then click on continue this next page is my e-visa is an online record of my immigration status it has my name status valid from valid until it even has my photograph so we scroll down to the bottom here and click on you can use this service to tell us about changes to your email phone number home address passport since i want to link my passport to my e-visa so i'll click on use this service on the next page it says update your uk visas and immigration account details so it gives you an overview of the type of details you can update we just have to scroll down to the bottom here where you see update your ukvi account details click on sign into your ukvi account to update your details so that the next page will open now on this next page it says update your uk visas immigration account details and it gives you a list of things you have to provide it says you need your identity document your passport national id brp or access to your phone or email address note that if you are updating your name date of birth or nationality you will also need an identity document that proves the change is needed so prepare yourself to upload such an evidence so i just clicked on sign in so i can go to the next page and now it shows me update account details my full name is here my full name is also under the personal details date of birth and the same image i had previously from my e-visa so as i scroll down now i can see my brp details down it says here. that this identity document is linked to your immigration status if you travel to the uk you must make sure that it is in date and can be used to enter the uk so i have to link my passport so i click on add a new identity document then the next page opens and the first question there is have your personal details changed on your new identity document and the answer is no you will see the details there and check it out so my the answer is no my personal details have not changed so i click on continue to the next page add an identity document before you continue follow these steps to add an identity document to your account upload a photo or scan of your new identity document this process will be faster if the photo clearly shows the machine readable zone second thing to consider is to check the photo or scan meets the requirement if the photo does not meet the requirement we will tell you how to fix it before you try again and the third thing is to check the details are correct if you cannot read the document details from the photo or scan you will be asked to enter them manually then fourth is to submit your request you will get an email when your identity document has been added to your account or if there is a problem with your request this is straightforward so i just took a picture with my phone and then uploaded it i did not crop it i didn't do anything like that took a picture make sure that there is no shadow and just try to upload it so when i clicked on continue here the next page opens and it says 
what type of identity document are you adding? I clicked on passport, then I clicked on continue so that I can access the next page. The next page says upload or take a photo of your passport. Now here are the requirements. The photo or scan must show all four corners of your personal details page. Now your personal details, the photo of you, the machine readable zone. So it shows you an example of what a machine readable zone is. Those two or three lines with letters and symbols and numbers at the bottom of your personal details is what they call the MRZ. So you have to make sure you capture this whenever you take a picture. So it shows you the type of pictures that are acceptable. Now this one is clear and in focus. This one is blurred photo and they won't accept it this one is glaring when there's this huge reflection on your passport don't allow that so even lighting it and no glare so that's what i did when i took a picture i didn't crop it nothing like that and then i felt that this was quite decent you know so after taking that photograph i now clicked on continue on the next page we have this it says update or take a photo of your passport you will be able to check if your photo meets our requirements on the next page the photo will be must be unaltered by effects or filters original not a screenshot or photocopy in color horizontal that's landscape a jpeg or jpg and then upload or take a photo so i just uploaded my passport and then clicked on continue so I can have access to the next page. I was having my fingers crossed at this stage because I didn't want to repeat this process over and over again. I filled this form on my laptop and I took the photograph on my phone and I had to transfer it. So I didn't want to repeat this process. So I was so happy at this stage when it says your photo meets the requirements. And then I clicked on continue to this stage. It says check before you continue. So it has my details as in it was able to capture all the details this is like really good artificial intelligence so you have to go through everything here and change them if they are wrong if the computer got any of the things wrong just change it manually click on change now after going through that it says you will not be able to change your answers once you submit and continue so I have to be very, very careful and be sure. So I just clicked on submit and continue. So on the next page, it says, yeah, your update request has been sent. We will, we have sent you an email confirming you received your request. What happens next? We will email you again when your identity document has been added to your UK visas and immigration accounts or to let you know if there is a problem. Once your account has been updated, you will need to use your new identity document details to sign in. You will be able to travel with all identity documents that are registered to your account as long as you meet the rules on entering the UK. So I was like, okay, fantastic. Can I go back to my account details? Let's just see. When I went back to my account details, I could just see personal details scroll down to the place where my travel documents are you can see my passport has been added and i have my brp it means this actually works now i went to my email address and i found that they sent me one email initially to say they have received my request to add my new id documents and then in a minute just less than a minute they said your id document has been added to your uk visas immigration account which is good so i tried to log in again because they said you have to sign in with your new details travel document so i tried to log in so i just clicked on start now to view my e-visa again and guess what it says this details entered do not match our records because i used my brp it means i have to start using my a passport from now on i hope you've benefited a lot from this video please like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video